First of all, I just like looking at my screen right now because I'm looking at the mothers of Olympians. Let's just, I just want to know what it feels like to be in this moment. Kim, let me start with you. It's totally amazing. I just, it's surreal. So happy that Michaela finally, finally did this and made her dream. It's awesome. We're so excited to be a part of this team. It's a great team. Gina, you got an Olympic daughter. Come on. That's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing, um, especially because, you know, we've talked about this moment. Wait, wait, wait. I need to pause. Nellie, wait, I want everyone to pause for a second and look behind Nellie. I see Biles and Child. Biles and Child. Biles and, and Ron. Hey, this is hey, Ron. Ron, it's Olympic moms, babe. This is Olympic moms. <laughs> oh, my God. Nellie, do you, I know you've been down this beautiful road before, but how does it feel this time around? It's still um, a surreal feeling. It's still hard to put in words and how hard to describe just how proud I am. And I am sure I'm speaking for all the mothers too. It doesn't get old. So it's not as if, um, oh, I've been there, done that. It's still, it just feels this time around even more special hey sandy your grace your grace is going to tokyo your grace is going to be competing for team usa do you ever just sit with that for a second and say like wow how did that happen yeah like a million times over especially with everything she had to overcome this year to even have a shot at coming back and this team is just full of such amazing talent it's unbelievable Yang, your little girl, I know we, we, we talk a lot about your little girl's bond with her dad, but a mother-daughter bond is something that is all by itself. It is so unique. Did you ever imagine that you will be sitting here on the, at the Olympics, you'll be able to watch your daughter uh, compete for Team USA? What is it like to watch your daughter compete? I'm very excited. I mean, it's kind of surreal, like everybody says, you know. I just couldn't believe that she actually made it, you know. <laughs> like, it is a dream of her, and finally made it. It was just so excited, and I'm so proud. Mm -hmm. so. Yang, was she always jumping on furniture? Was Suni always, like, <laughs> flying through the air? <laughs> yeah, jumping. Um, she's a pretty, I mean, like, yeah, she would flip and do the wrong thing, do, um, you know, cartwheels everywhere in the house. You know, like I would take her to the party and she would be flipping up the parts Flipping. Too. You know, yeah. <laughs> Danielle, when your daughter was little, how did you know? How did you know that she wasn't going to be just someone who enjoyed gymnastics, but somebody who might be competing at this level? I believe she was about four years old and we were, her dad and I were watching TV and all of a sudden, whoop, there goes a cartwheel. <laughs> and we looked at each other and I said, did you teach her that? And he said, no, did you? And I said, no. <laughs> and uh, so I think we, we kind of knew at that point. You knew in that minute that, she that there was something different about her. Yes, yeah. So <clears throat> Kim, I want you to close your eyes for a second and describe <laughs> yourself what you feel like watching your daughter compete. Well, can I open my eyes? Or yeah, I yeah, yeah, you can open them. <laughs> Um, I don't know. This time around was really difficult watching. It was just very, very stressful. But yet, you know, you feel at times like you just want to walk out of the arena and not watch because it's just that stressful. But yet you don't want to miss it. And you just got to be there. And so you just sit there and you hope that they hit their routine. But it's really rough. <laughs> Well, I don't, I watched Gina move in the stands. Gina, you're moving with Jordan. You're like over here. Now I'm over here. Like you're doing everything you can to stay in your seat. How nerve wracking is it watching your daughter compete? It's awful. I wish there was a way to support without physically having to uh, watch it. I always say, I wish I could just blink my eyes and then then know the outcome, but the outcome be good. But yeah, it's been that way since she started as a little level four and it just never changed. And, and I try, uh, Ron actually texts me um, because he watched me on TV like the following day and he was like, Gina, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, no, I can't help it. It's just my body just reacts that way. Well, you named her Jordan after Michael Jordan. So, I mean, she was destined, don't you think? She was destined for greatness.
Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's slightly embarrassing that that's kind of uh, circulated, but it is absolutely the truth. I had waited for uh, one kid to come forward and my husband was like, okay, you can name her whatever you want. And I said, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan, it is. By the way, I love the Biles Childs thing, Nellie, and there, there they were connected. What is it? I mean, I watched them hug. I watched uh, Simone support uh, Jordan. I just, I, I like the bond between them. Tell us about that. I believed um, in the past two years, pretty much, um, Simone has embraced pretty much all the elite gymnasts that have that are now uh, attending our gym. And as the as the time has progressed, and again, Jordan looks up to her and asks for advice. And Simone is there, you know. I mean, we're not playing. This is for real. And Simone really pushes because she pushes herself and I see her doing the same thing too with Jordan and that bond has just I mean they fight believe me they do fight <laughs> and, and and then we don't get in the way I don't get in the way because the next minute you know I mean they're hugging each other Maybe so no. you just know that that's a special relationship that they have and and I think the expectation for each of them is very high. Jordan expects a lot from Simone and vice versa. I, I think it's great. I do too. Sandy, you're the mother of six, am I right? Yes, you are correct. You got one in the back seat with you because you needed to go somewhere. I keep well, seeing- Well, I got a, rid of the other two that were with me, so it's well, only down to one. Well, so, I keep, I keep yes. seeing a hand and a can of soda or something pop up yeah, or whatever. Yeah, he wants to be famous or something, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, you had six kids. I'm sure people are looking at this widescreen and saying, I want to raise an Olympian. Like, what was in the water? What did they do? So, Sandy, what what did you do? Honestly, like, we were just looking for an outlet for Grace because we found her one day trying to climb the brick on our fireplace, number one, and, like, trying to figure out how to sit on top of the mantle. And she was a really shy kid, and so we were just looking for a way for her to, like, get out and meet other people and not hang on her mom's leg all the time. And the minute she walked in the gym, she's like, I'm home. And her older sister was like, nope, not for me at all. <laughs> wow. So what, Danielle, what, what would you say is the secret sauce to raising an Olympian? Oh, boy. <laughs> um, well, both her dad and I coach gymnastics. So we felt like it was important that we didn't force it on her in any way. So pretty much just letting her guide the ship and decide what she wanted to do and how far she wanted to take it. I'm kind of bumming that we won't be able to be together at the Olympics. I mean, that is breaking my heart. And I was just thinking about you guys because you've been there for every meet. You've traveled all over the country and in some cases the world. And in this particular moment, you won't be able to be present in the arena to witness this moment. And Kim, I know it was a long time coming for Michaela, but how are you dealing with that? Yeah, it's not fun, um, but my older daughter, is we're gonna have a big viewing party the night that they do preliminaries and live stream it. It's gonna be late. I think it's gonna be like 11 o'clock mm -hmm. our time, but we're gonna have a huge party and just get a bunch of people together and watch. So it'll be fun, but it is just, it's very disappointing not being able to go. I don't know, it's just been interesting, but this whole COVID thing has been interesting. And for Michaela to even get where she's gotten has been amazing to us. So we're just proud that she made it. Well, we're so proud of all of you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing your little girls in your eyes right now and it's totally blowing my mind. But since you can't be there to hold their hand in the arena, I know that you probably have a piece of advice for them. And maybe it's the same advice you've given them your whole life, I don't know. But if you just had a phrase or something for your little girl before she embarks in this moment, what would it be? Um, Nellie, what, what would you say to Simone? I definitely will tell Simone to be the best Simone. I mean, and she understands what that means. So um, whenever it's her turn to do whatever event, she needs to go out there and do her very best. You know what's funny? She always says that she's calming you down. <laughs> but she is. <laughs> she, she texts you and says, Mom, I'm good. And you're like, is that that's the way it works? That's how it works because I am, I get very nervous um, uh, before competition and Simone really is the one that calms me down. I mean, we would FaceTime me and tell me 
mom, I'm fine. Um, I'm ready. And it's good to hear her say that, but um, she reassures me and calms me down, which is great. I love that. Gina, what about advice for your little girl before she sets out? You know, something we always uh, tell her dad has a saying that he tells her every single time. And it's really sounds like a little kid saying because we started it when she was little. But he said, do your best and forget the rest. And that is, he tells her that every single time she goes out to compete and just in general life. And so we would tell her that, you know, do your best, forget everything else. You've um, earned this moment and you've worked hard for this moment. So you might as well enjoy every aspect of this moment. We're so proud, not because you're an Olympian, but because you're Jordan and, and we love you. Oh, beautiful. Kim. Again, for Michaela, long time coming. She just missed the team last year. I know this meant the world. In fact, when she made the team, and I remember that moment at trials, <laughs> she's like, Mom, I did it. Like, I thought that was so cool. She gave you some great words. What, what words do you have for her? Our common saying is, you got this. Hmm. And just go out there and do your best. And when she did say that saying, I couldn't even hear it in the arena. I didn't notice that till like the next day I'm watching video and I hear that and I just cried oh. several times because it meant so much to her to make this team. It, I mean, there were a lot of odds against her with everything she went through with the COVID, the pneumonia and getting back to the point. And it just, it just broke our heart. But anyway, we we're so happy, but yeah, just go out there and do it, Michaela. You, you got this. I love that. Raise your hand if your daughter has had or has an injury from gymnastics. Has had? Wow. Everybody. Has. Everybody has. has. Every single person. And I mean, there just the idea that she may have a hurt ankle or something may be bugging her. I can only imagine as a mother watching that, Yang, uh, is extra difficult. And I know that your daughter, Suni, has been through a lot. You know, your <laughs> husband is was paralyzed from a from just a horrible fall you've lost loved ones to covid and yet there she stands back straight yeah it's pretty amazing that she actually made it this far <laughs> yeah uh with everything that is going on with um you know the family with her injury after injury and i'm just super proud that she actually made it it's still kind of like, wow, you actually made it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yang, what, what advice do you guys give her before she competes? Using my husband, we do a pep talk with her. Um, she usually do that um, with us before she goes in our competitions. And um, my husband pretty much gave her like advice, but I usually just tell her, you know, go out there and have fun, you know? Just do like you always practice, do like the way you practice and just go out there and have fun. This is it, you know? Um, just have fun, enjoy, and do the best you can because um, it is what it is. I mean, Beautiful. She's great, yeah, so. Uh, Sandy, what advice do you have for, for Grace? Before every competition, I just tell her, you know, go out and enjoy this moment. You work so hard to get here and just enjoy the whole experience. Take it all in. Enjoy your teammates. Cheer for them. Be like the best cheerleader and the best supporter that you can. And go out there and compete for like an audience of one, compete for God, let it, you know, just do it. Show people that you really love what you do and just have fun. Yeah, an audience of one. And actually you're probably kind of right. There will be about an audience of one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nellie, right. Nellie, you've been down this road before. The other parents have not. Do you have any advice for these moms as they kind of walk into this moment? I believe the best advice would be just to enjoy the moment and just be proud because i mean when you look up the look at the amount of kids that have gone this far our children are are, are the ones that we are watching that the entire world is watching and 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 we know that the only reason that they've gotten this far is because they've worked so hard so just cherish this time and cherish the moment and whatever the outcome, I always say, whatever the outcome, you know, just be proud of that outcome. Well, you guys are incredible. I can tell why each and every one of your daughters is going to be on the world stage. They've earned it and they've had support that I can see it pouring out of you. It's as if you're doing it. So I just want to say go Team USA. Thank you. Thank you.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.